G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, and today I'm excited to present you the CJ590 Titan. It's the first one we've had at our dealership, and we were really lucky to get a, a really good client who was happy to uh, accessorize this boat to get the perfect fit out for his uh, family and his application. I just want to show you this 590 Titan. There is plenty of deck space. For a 5.9 meter boat, there, there's plenty of room for a couple of people to be fishing uh, each side uh, or over the transom. Uh, talk about plenty of space. Another thing I like about this, a lot of center cabs out there don't give a lot of thought to the access around the boat. The CJ provide really good access with an initial step on our main platform. And it's easy to step up. And as you see, I can stand with my feet. So I run size 11 and a half. Size feet 11 and a half and face out with, uh, without feeling like I'm gonna fall into the boat. Obviously, um, when you get around the front, you probably won't see it from back there but there are handles uh, on the front cabin edge and bow rails to assist you as you go around the boat. Uh, around the front of the boat, this centre cab gives you plenty of room to be flinging those uh, mackerel slugs uh, or retrieving your anchor. Talk about retrieving your anchor, this boat has been fitted um, or is fitted with the uh, bow sprit and roller to suit the Saka uh, anchor, which enables also that anchor to stay forward, whether you do it manually uh, as this customer is, or whether we fit a stress-free winch and allow, allow that anchor to sit out the front. Also on the front of this boat, we've optioned it with a factory electric motor plate. Now that factory electric motor plate, again, uh, with this good access, enables you to run a manual lift, manual deploy Minn Kota, and save some dollars on the overall package if, if you choose. That uh, quick release base, if you're not using an electric motor from day one, it also gives you provision where you, you're coming in, in and out the boat ramp, you'll be able to slide on and off the front of this boat with relative ease. I'd never suggest anyone sit up there while the boat's underway fast, but coming up with the boat ramp, it's certainly a good access point over the front. Let's get back into the inside of this boat. Uh, some pretty cool things uh, on this boat that are, that are worth mentioning. So. As you'll see here in, the, in this rear section, the boat is fitted standard with a, a live bait tank. Uh, that's all plumbed, a very generous size. Uh, this boat's optioned with a deluxe CJ bait board. That's right, the deluxe CJ bait board. Big, big tray storage in here. Good cutting surface for, for long, long frame fish. A couple of drink holders, knife slots, plier slots, and four rod holders. Now that, that's permanently uh, bolted to the boat uh, and is, is very um, uh, firm in its position. You've also got the, the fold up, fold down um, uh, lounge. Um, again, giving um, seating option for, for two and a half bums, uh, but also folding down to open up this space. Okay, moving into the um, main helm navigator position. Um, you've got a, a generous size dash here. We've got a nine inch uh, GPS sounder combination there, alongside the Yamaha 6Y8 fuel management system gauges. A little bit of spare real estate here uh, for future fitment. This boat's been upgraded to have a second switch panel based on the amount of uh, accessories this gentleman has fitted. Um, plenty of room for an EPIRB, easy reach EPIRB. Nice room, uh, space for a flush mount VHF. A little bit of provision here for flush mount uh, fusion stereo. Uh, if you saw, uh, that was a, an option that may interest you uh, moving forward. Also, we've got a Railblazer product here. That's a phone holder um, that is repositionable. So that can be swung around. It's also the Railblazer Starport that has a USB socket that's powered up. You can run your phone charger straight out of that to your phone. So, you know, really nice uh, touch on this, this boat. Talking about Railblazer, also on this boat here, we've got a, um, a double drink holder caddy. That's just somewhere where you can throw your phone, throw your drink holder, uh, especially when you're the passenger. Talking about the roof, let's talk about the roof. It's an alloy, alloy uh, fixed roof. It's got six rod holders above. It's got mounting bracket for spotlights, mounting bracket for uh, VHF aerial, and obviously your uh, anchor light, riding light is up, up above. Talking about this roof further, it is hinged. This does fold down uh, to reduce storage height. I can't tell you because I don't remember it right now what the, the maximum storage height is on this uh, CJ Redco Sportsman trailer, um, but it does get it down being able to fold this roof. You've got the folding deluxe seats, which are, which are very popular uh, amongst our customers. We've got tackles, tackle tray storage uh, under those seats. Uh, they are designed, the, uh, the CJ factory has designed them around the Plano boxes. So 
designing them, uh, keeping in mind good quality stuff you can purchase from your local tackle store. Other little touches I'll go through while we're here. Quickly, um, you know, we fit a bit of uh, floor lighting, we fit a, a, a deck wash, saltwater deck wash. So there are plenty of options um, that we can accessorize a 590 Titan uh, or 630 Titan for you. Uh, please get in contact with the boys. Uh, give us a call on 3397 9766. We'll get on our website and check out maybe the range or what else we have available at Stones Corner Marine on www.stonescornermarine.com.au.